Hello, everybody. Thank you all for joining. This is going to be the first of two videos today, but I had to break out the Tesla only news because it's so exciting. And there's a lot to dig into news because it's and so, uh, so I'm going to make this real quick, but just share why I'm so th enthusiastic. And also I'll weave into relative valuations with Bitcoin and why my Tesla position is larger than my Bitcoin position. Anyway, they're both asymmetric bets, so they're both going to do real well. So hope the maxis are OK. All right. This is not financial advice, as you know. And the story, well, we'll just jump right in. First of all, I did talk about EV tipping points, but the problem with them is they are happening even faster than I forecasted a week ago with the Bloomberg data. Uh, California itself is absolutely exploding right now. And in terms of EV markets, it is the fourth biggest country in the world. And I know it's just a state, but what's crazy is they went from 2% to 22% EV adoption in just five years. We spoke about the 5% tipping point, how you go from 5% to 50% in five years, but to go from two to 22 in five years is mind blowing. And that spells uh, good news for the rest of the country and many other countries around the world as well. Um, and the pace again of that EV adoption, uh, Q2 2023 sales are up 70% compared to the same period in Q in 2022. So. But it's not just a story of battery electric vehicles. It's a story of how compelling they are. They're cheap to run. They're, they're full of features, safety features, crash features, etc. that prevent crashes. It's just, just too much. But I want to share one other point that just came in as well. And shout out to Chewy uh, for this on Discord. Vehicle registrations in Germany in August by drive type now hit 31.7% battery electric vehicle. Okay, look at uh, diesels, gas, gasoline, which is petrol, uh, etc. It's insane how it has actually leapfrogged so fast. Now, that's August data. If you go back here and you look at Germany, according to the Bloomberg chart for Germany, they're at 18%. <laughs> so they went from 18% a month or two ago to 31.7%. That's how fast this disruption is happening. Okay, let's look at uh, other terrors for other car makers. This is, again, it's California data, but the adoption of how Toyota for the longest time was the largest selling car in California. All of a sudden, boom, dethroned in Q2 2023. Traditional automakers must be quaking in their boots. And right now, not only does Tesla control over 60% of the car market, but they want to have other plans too. And that's what we're talking about today as well. So I did do a comparison of Tesla versus ICE a couple of weeks ago and how ICE simply cannot compete. In fact, there's another news report that Volkswagen is going to slow down their production of battery electric vehicles because they're losing too much money on them. Same thing with GM, same thing with Ford, same thing with Stellantis, same thing with probably all the other car makers that even dabble. Now, this is the story I want to get to today, everybody. So thank you for being patient. Uh, I did cover this about 22 hours ago on Patreon, and it was a, my quick summary of the new book about Elon, the book of Elon by Walter Isaacson. But there's so much to take away from this, um, so many insights to exactly what they are thinking at Tesla and why it's so important. Robotaxis as the future, the vision for them, autonomy, FSD, and Musk's unwavering commitment. He is full in on this. A uh, story about changing minds. They wanted a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no nothing. Had to be $25,000 or below uh, because that explodes the actual market share. We've covered many, many times. And also a couple of new nuggets too, like a common platform for this vehicle and a manufacturing transformation. So they want to build not only the $25,000 model car on the same platform as the RoboTaxi, but also it looked pretty slick. This is a rendering of what they're talking about. And Elon Musk, when he first saw the actual rendering by the design studio, he said, this will turn heads at every single corner, just like the Cybertruck is doing in Daily City today in the fog. So it is mad out there. Now, let's try to break down how a lot of talk of this $10 trillion valuation. I'm going to show you some math. Now, the 25K car is interesting, but we're already at the 35K level in China for the new Refresh Model 3, which has again more features and functionality than any other vehicle on the road. And with EV credits in the US, that could become a sub $30,000 car, 
We don't know yet. They will not be delivered until Q1 2024. But again, it's a huge move in the right direction. Now, another good news as well. There's so much to talk about. Uh, as I say, if you snooze, you lose. Don't be afraid. Don't wait. And the bureaucrats in Mexico, where well, you'd think they'd bend over backwards to cater to Elon Musk and Tesla after kind of courting him for a long time to build a new gigafactory that was supposed to build the $25,000 car and robot taxis. Elon says, screw this. Um, I'm just going to do it in Austin. It's closer to the developers and I can't afford to wait any longer. That's the type of commitment of this guy. And we knew this was coming. I was chatting about this with somebody the other day. I said, you know, if Mexico really start delaying over silly stuff, and I, I granted, you know, environmental reasons and permits and all that crap. And I've been through many permitting processes in my life. And believe me, in the US, it's a pain in the ass. But maybe not in Texas. That's why they want to move. But in Mexico, I thought maybe a few little brown envelopes that have greased the skids. Maybe they're waiting for those brown envelopes which didn't come. Anyhow, Mexico, you lose. Get your act together if you want to play in this game. Now, um, in addition, <clears throat> I do have many price prediction models that I share on Patreon. This was my latest out to 2032 uh, price prediction bear case. 2,681 for Tesla by 2032. And for those who aren't familiar with my retire on models, these are based on a monthly spend in the future, 2032 for 27 years, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. But my analyst case, when I analyzed all the analysts, they were at 3,164. And my expected case is about 5,181. Assuming they nail the Optimus robot, which I know they will. They're already planning to manufacture them at scale within the next 12 months, maybe even sooner, maybe even in Fremont, turning Fremont into a whole robot factory. Mind-blowing. Or have robots built everywhere to build cars. But the new plan for their vehicle is to have a very automated process with that unboxing kind of uh, matchbox car model. Now... Let's talk about the math of the $10 trillion, what it means for investors. And again, my bear scenario for Tesla was 2681 by 2032, with the valuation of about 10 trillion and about 3 billion in shares, which of course will increase over time. That could take the stock price to approximately, say, $3,300 a share. Now, another way of backing into that is they could be at $1 trillion in revenue by 2030, which is very, very achievable. Margins will be huge because of software margins. You know, FSD will basically be 100% margin. Uh, that at a 20x multiple, which is very conservative, gets you to a $10 trillion valuation. And that is a 13.5x, 13x from today's share price. It sounds incredible. How can you do that in eight or nine or seven years, however long it takes them to get there. It is impressive. By the way, quick shout out to all our friends in Canada, Toronto, top five city for this channel. So I love you Canadians. Uh, now let's talk about what is really the big catalyst for this price, this market cap. And, you know, Saudi Aramco and Apple, I think they make up about five trillion today. But from Farzad, subscribe to him on Twitter. He's awesome. Uh, he said, Tesla's AI-based self-driving took four months to go from test-ready to being capable of replacing Tesla's current approach, which they've been building for eight years. And they did this with 1 20th of the compute power they expect to have by the end of next year. Okay? The point is, they are feeding this new software videos. It does it all itself. It is not widely understood. In fact, nobody can figure it out. And it is huge news. In addition, another drop from this book. Looks like little pieces are being leaked. And a shout out to Sawyer Merritt, who is, uh, I don't sleep much. And I know he must sleep probably less than I do. But he said this released another uh, new article on how Tesla's on a new course for FSD 12 self-driving. And the point of this, I won't bore you to death with all the details. And maybe I will. But the point is, FSD is not a step change. It is a quantum leap forward. FSD 12 is the radical new concept. Will not only transform autonomous vehicles, but also be a quantum leap forward in AGI, artificial general intelligence that can operate in physical real world solutions. Think bots. AGI. There's a lot of talk of 
AI and everything else. This is why I believe Tesla is the leading AGI company on the planet. That's why I'm super bullish. So in addition, a lot of people also went, well, what's better, Bitcoin or Tesla? Where do I, where do I place my bets? Well, I place it in both camps because I believe in both, but I'm ready to drop one at the drop of a hat. As you know, keep the tap dancing shoes on, ladies and gentlemen. But comparing Tesla to Bitcoin, a Tesla 13.5X from today's price is equivalent to Bitcoin going to $351,000 by the year 2030, which again is very close to kind of my bearish case. So they're not far off. We don't know which one's going to run faster. They're both probably going to do very well, but you know, we'll see. Now, there's one other thing as well I do want to mention is that $10 trillion number also happens to be not only the future expected market cap from Elon Musk of Tesla in not very many years, but also the manufacturing investment required to create a renewable planet per their master plan part three. So always try to find patterns and numbers, 10 trillion, 10 trillion. That's 10 trillion. That's big. By the way, I'll be back in about 20 minutes after I drink some more coffee uh, with what happened this week, a big uh, recap of all the crypto stuff, because sometimes crypto stuff don't like Tesla stuff. But if you're a long-term member of this channel, you'll have both, <laughs> so you'll be fine. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to AI yourself. And again, thank you to the mods in the chat, TND Tesla and Jeff Hammer and everybody else. I'll see you all in a few minutes. Bye.